Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and uh, I have a real hot take for some of y'all out there. If you're an adult, uh, I'm gonna ask you just straight up, okay? Let's let's assume that a piece of media did not cause anybody harm in its production. You know, something like a movie, something like a piece of music, maybe a video game. Are you uh, okay with censorship, or do you believe that when a w when a video game has a little rating in the corner, and it's not E for everyone, it's not T for teen, it's M for mature. Do you believe that it should be uncensored? Well, I, I believe so too. Now, to understand, I get broadcast regulations and whatnot, I understand, okay? But when it comes to a piece of media like this, when it's M rated, regardless of how much gratuitous violence it has or how much sex it may have, I believe that the uncensored product should be released, okay? Because as an adult, I should be allowed to make the decision. And hey, when I go to a video game store and uh, I try to buy an M-rated game, they ask you for ID, okay? They make sure an adult. No 11-year-old is able to go up to a counter and ask them, can I have Grand Theft Auto 5? And they just hand it over. Again, that's how the, that's how the system's supposed to work. M-rated games are meant for adults, okay? And adults are the ones that are the target demographic of video games like this. Now, to understand, there's this game called Martha is Dead that's coming out, and uh, it's got some violence in it, okay? It's got some real hardcore balls-to-the-wall violence. Now, to get get things started with, I'm just going to straight up and give you the reality. Video game graphics have gotten insane, okay? Just in this generation, we've got 8K textures, ray tracing, and whatnot. You know, it's a, it, I think we all can agree that video games look a lot more real than they did back in the days of the PlayStation 2. You know when Titus went, ha, 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 games look a lot better than that, all right? And because of that, things like video game violence look a lot more realistic than ever before. Things like sex in video games now don't look like two models humping each other and actually can kind of resemble real sex in certain cases, not, not in like Cyberpunk 2077's case, but that's a whole different story. Now, Martha is Dead is a game that's coming out in like a couple of weeks, and while I had no interest in picking this game up, because of Sony's censorship of one specific scene, now I've actually decided to throw a hot spicy pre-order down on it through Steam whenever it's available, or Epic, or whatever it is on the PC, or maybe even the Xbox, I don't know, because Sony's the only company out of all these companies that is releasing and publishing this game that has decided, you know what, we're gonna have to cut off some violence now here's actually the scene uh, of martha is lost and it's basically kind of like a walking simulator horror game you know it has its own marketplace for it you know it's p p these kind of games come and go it's only like 30 bucks so if you want to experience a horror experience this is kind of what it is but it has one specific scene one specific scene that freaks you out and it's not this one it's when you're actually cutting off a face now, from one of the actual main characters, all right, this is where you, like, actually remove the, you saw off the face of, of, of one of the main character's sister, and you peel it off, and it does look very real. It's a mini game you're actually forced to play. If anything, if you ever play the old Saw games on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 from way back in the day, this is kind of close to that. Obviously far more realistic and far better looking. You literally do peel off the face, and the skin texture work definitely has a a bit of reality to it. You peel off the goddamn face and you can see the eyeballs and everything beyond it. You put the goddamn face on too. It is actually that realistic. Now, of course, because of the scene, you had to start actually removing aspects of this. Uh, the actual game developer straight up updated in the other day, like the last day. Martha is Dead is a narrative adventure recommended for adult audiences only, with play consisting of potentially discomforting scenes and themes that may distress some players. And they've been open about it since like 2019. It is with regret that we have to modify the experience on the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 versions, with some elements no longer playable. Over four years of passion and hard work, developer LK now requires extra time to make sure these unplanned changes as a result. So basically, Sony ended up saying, you can't be peeling off faces. Xbox didn't come in and say, that's not okay. No one on Steam, no one at Epic decided, that's not okay either. Literally only PlayStation jumped in. Now, the history of PlayStation censorship is pretty common indeed. When it comes to a lot of sexual stuff, PlayStation doesn't take too kindly to that, okay? There's a lot of games from Japan that end up being censored for Western releases simply because of sexual things. When I heard about this initially, I thought, 
Maybe there's some raw sex scene going on that Sony didn't want. But no, it turned out to be violence. Basically, anything gratuitous is not okay. Now, in the sake of being completely fair and balanced in the situation, I looked further into this, and what's really interesting is the actual terminology that the company used in their depict in their actual like discussion and their uh, release was a uh, no longer playable. Now, that doesn't mean no longer depicted. In fact, from what I'm actually noticing in this, if the best case scenario is to be hit, what they're actually going to be removing is the quick time event centered around removing the face. So if you look closer at the gameplay, you can see the mouse down. Obviously, if you were on a controller, it would probably be like right analog or left analog stick down or whatever face button that would correspond with the action. So of course, it may seem like this element is removed, but they may keep the face cutting intact, which makes the censorship even more fucking stupid. Because if you're depicting the violence, what is wrong with showing the gameplay? I literally just showed you Saw 2 footage from the PlayStation 3 era where you were doing roughly the same thing in an HD era. That game is violent too. So is this. I don't understand the key difference. It really feels like censorship for the sake of some weird censorship. But that's kind of a little hypocritical coming from the company that's allowed Last of Us 2 to be running on its platform. That's basically allowed games like Red Dead Redemption 2 to be running on its platform, where you're still actually allowed to blow somebody's head off and decapitate them. It's really hypocritical from the same company that allows you to buy Manhunt for the original PlayStation 2 on the PlayStation 4 and 5 and play that all the way through, despite how much violence actually exists in Manhunt. This is a little hypocritical from a company that also allows Mortal Kombat to be released on its system that allows you to basically almost do the same thing you're witnessing in this game, albeit in a much more comical sense, on its same platform. Look, I get it. Violence can be unnerving. It can be unsettling, especially gore. You know why? It's not because gore is allowed to be, you know, cool in the first place. You ever played games like Resident Evil 2 and like the, the grate raises up off of the police officer's body and you can see that their torso is dismembered? Yeah, it's not supposed to make you go like, oh, hell yeah, that's sick. No, it's supposed to make you go, oh. That's painful. See, there's unnerving scenes in video games all the time. Not every video game is supposed to be filled with unicorns and butterflies, okay? You're gonna come across adult material that's not something that everyone's going to jump in and play. Which, when it comes to video games like this, if you are not comfortable with the subject matter, here's a hot take. Don't play the game, okay? Simple as that, all right? Not every game is meant for every single person out there. Not every game is meant to be as accessible for every single person jumping in. And you know, for me, when it comes to games like Modern Warfare 2019, which I know some people are going to laugh when they hear this, but when I play the level where, like, I think it's the third level in the game when Piccadilly Circus is actually attacked and civilians are being executed left and right, yeah, that genuinely did unnerve me. But you know what? I'm not going to sit there and say that needs to be censored in a video game. You know, when elements like Modern Warfare 2's uh, No Russian Mission played out, I'm not going to sit there and say that should be censored and removed. Quite frankly, I appreciate it when that game gave the the option of, hey, you can skip these scenes if you want to. And I think that's a fair compromise when it comes to stuff like this. If Martha is Dead was basically forced by PlayStation to allow users the option to skip past these scenes, then I think that would be a fair compromise, okay? I think options like that are definitely great when it comes to things like this. But outright censoring and removing options and elements from video games should never be accepted. And look, I'm a PlayStation guy, okay? If it comes to the one system that I put most of my hours and money into, it's Sony PlayStation. PlayStation. And do I like their games? Absolutely. Do I like playing Horizon Zero Dawn? Yes. Am I excited for the next Horizon Zero Dawn 2? Absolutely. But am I going to call out some blatant bullshit censorship like this? Absolutely. When it comes to a horror game, yes, a genre of video games that relies on unsettling imagery, especially when this is the same company that at one point allowed PT, a Silent Hills demo, to literally have an aborted fetus crying in an actual sink. Yeah, that was somehow okay. That was wasn't too realistic. That wasn't going to be triggering anybody, right? But somehow, this is the one thing that is the mark. For me, this is the weirdest form of censorship to kick in, especially when it comes to, like, violence in video games. Especially when, yes, I agree. Is this scene gratuitous? Absolutely. And it's meant to be. This game takes place during 1944 Tuscany, during World War II, during the end final years of World War II. And you know what, guys? Guess what? Here's another hot take. 
bad things happened during World War II. I know, it's shocking, right? Last I checked, World War II wasn't all rainbow and, you know, unicorns and shit. You know, World War II wasn't filled with beautiful, glorifying imagery. It was a dark, depressing point of human times, and it was a moment where really, really bad things occurred. Bad things that you would see witnessed and dis depicted in video games centered around that time period. So yeah, I know, real hot and wild out there. I thought we were past this when Manhunt was out, and yes, that that game got censored and banned in so many parts of the world. But hey, I was glad that it's still released and it's still available for purchase. I think adults should be the one that decide what's too gratuitous for them and what isn't. And yes, I get it. If you're talking about protecting the children, that's a valid argument. Had this game not been already rated M for Mature. The only people that are actually being hurt in any of this situation are the actual adults being treated like goddamn children on the platform. So yeah, if you're going to go buy this game, I would recommend you buy it on the platform that doesn't treat you like a child. And that platform, unfortunately, isn't Sony. Would I like to see them reverse this? Probably not. Honestly, I think Sony removed this because they don't want to have their platform and have this being depicted on it in any capacity out there, which is baffling again to me. But yes, do I think censorship is cool? Absolutely not. Do I think this was a dumb decision by Sony? Absolutely. But you know one thing about the censorship d drama? Is it made me buy the game on a different platform, of course. Because if it's anything, controversy definitely sells. And you know what? Maybe, maybe Sony might as well inadvertently help an indie company out just by doing something like this. So yeah, that was Martha's Dead. They banned a game because you could peel off a face. But uh, so much other stuff is still absolutely allowed on the system. Truly shocking stuff indeed. This is me, Mudahar, and if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out.